and welcome to a special version of Feral Direct. I am Kits and Dragon, your community manager and host for this evening, and with me today is Tessa, a designer and artist on the Feral team. Hello. Good to be Thank here. Thank you so much for joining us today, Tessa. It's it's really cool. We have um we have a really special Feral Direct um again this month. I know it's been a while since we've streamed, so um we've had a lot of speculation as to why that is and what's going on um so finally we get to let players know that uh the big reason that we've been holding off on a new stream is because we are now going to be pairing our live streams with previews of new feral content so tessa is with me here today to show off <laughs> some of our our cool new season pass stuff um to show off the new sanctuary and of course to uh, demonstrate the new avatar. So, yeah, it's gonna be really yeah. fun. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's really exciting. So um, let's hop into the game. Now we already have a special version of the game loaded right now. We are on a stage environment, which is basically a preview before things go to the live environment, which is where you all play, which is where all of us play, really. Um, so this is the demonstration of new content to come. And uh, Tessa, why don't you tell us where we are right now? What sanctuary is this? So, this is the Rose Cottage Sanctuary. Um, I get to choose um, which sanctuary comes out with the season pass. And I just fell in love with this one when I saw the concept team do it. And it's just perfect for spring. And the music, uh, this is my first time hearing the music. And it's so pretty. I just love this one. I got to uh, enjoy a little bit earlier today as we were getting things set up. And yeah, I just lingered for a while listening to it. It is gorgeous. It's very, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm uh, if I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but it, it does have that sort of <laughs> Studio Ghibli sound to it. I think you mentioned that earlier. Yeah. Um, where it's just charming yeah. and wholesome. Yes, it definitely gives me that uh, Station 6 vibes from... Way. <laughs> uh, we're getting a lot of great comments from people too. Uh, people love the cottage. The pastels are great. It's so pretty. I'm gonna cry. Oh, thank you, Katie of Cats. That's such a, yeah. that's such a <laughs> cute comment to say. Um, there are a couple people saying that we're getting a little bit of lag. I don't know if that. Um, I'm seeing it a little bit on my end also. It's not too bad, but it, it's probably uh, probably just some of the frame rates a bit low right now in the stage environment. I know we have a bunch of people still in there testing right now too. To make sure everything's all set to go for the, the next season pass. So um, definitely let us know if you are seeing any other issues with loading um, everyone out there. So yeah, thanks. Keep those comments coming. Um, and from working from home, I don't have the best internet. So sorry there. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a, a, something that we all work on um, after, gosh, I think it's been about just a year now, been working from home. So it's been, it's been an interesting year for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I'm getting some comments that your audio is a little bit high, so I'm going to turn that down and turn mine up a little bit. There we go. So why don't you show us some of the, um, the cool, uh, furniture that we have outside right now. What is this right here? Yeah, so this is the whimsical set. Uh, definitely a bit of Alice in Wonderland inspiration there. Um, uh, we had a great, uh, modeler and concept artist work on this in... I just really love it. I love the little basket and I love picnic sets in any game. It just makes you, like, except for those days, like when you want to go outside, but then you don't really want to go outside. You just want to feel like you're outside. <laughs> That's why I play Animal Crossing in this game. <laughs> yep, there you go. Oh, it's got that cute, like, yeah. um, yeah, just spring Alice in Wonderland vibe. Uh, the little cafe chair here. It's, it's uh, yeah, this is all called the whimsical mm -hmm. set. So um, this is available in the next season pass, the, the tree as well. And um, it looks like we have yeah. the a spring archway set up in the front entrance here. Yeah. So that's all adorable. And um, I've also, this item I've hidden out in the world and it's gonna be part of the challenge is to go and find it for this season. Oh, that archway? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. So be looking out for that, that item. <laughs> All right. I hope everyone heard that. Keep an eye out for this uh, this archway. It's called the Spring Archway, I believe, right? 
Yeah, I think uh, spring clover archway, I think. I can't remember exactly. Spring right. flower archway, that's what it is. <laughs> gotcha. Alright, well, how about and we take a this, look at Oh, you got one more thing to show? Yeah. Oh yeah, this set, um, the hat and scarf and basket I'm wearing is also in the season pass, and I chose that one because it really goes well with this house, I think. <laughs> I love the basket. The tail basket's adorable. What is this yeah. set called? Do you recall <laughs> the name of this one? Oh, these are just, um, I think it's just a floral hat and basket and scarf. Or I think it's actually a garden, maybe a garden set. But it's broken up in the past, so they're individual items. Gotcha. Yeah. So oh, we're hearing to comments about feedback too. Let me turn down my own volume. Maybe that's part of it too. There we go. Let us know if you're hearing any more feedback, okay, guys? All right, inside the house. Um, so we have a couple of other cool things set up. Um, yeah, why don't we start with some of this clover themed stuff? I love this. Yeah. Very, well, St. Patrick's Day, but there's not really that kind of holiday in Pearl, but there are these beautiful flowers and we call them clovers. Yeah. So, the spring clover set. will be coming out. And the fountain's part of the set, too, I believe. It's called the Spring Clover yeah, and, Fountain. Uh, and another thing, these uh, clovers I've placed all throughout Feral, so you'll have to find it in the cities and in the expanses, take some pictures, do some dances. <laughs> Same with the fountain. The fountain's out there. Awesome. I always love seeing more fountains, too, around the sanctuary, so those are great. And even these exercise items will be out in the world for you to go and check out. Oh, we got some new fitness stuff. That's fun. We got like the, the yoga ball and the yoga mat. <laughs> Doing some stretches. Oh, through the wall. <laughs> yes. We'll go in this room. Uh, so this I love this room. It's, with, so cozy. Uh, <laughs> it's got a lot of the cottage stuff from, I believe, our season pass three. Um, but I thought it paired really nicely with some of the homestead items that come from the season pass. So um, right next to the messy trunk is we have the was the, the homestead, uh, like the laundry basket. That's it's cute. I always yeah, love having so the option for a messy look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are the homestead hampers, and we've got the homestead desk over here. I actually concepted the desk and hampers, so that was really fun. Yeah. Work on those. We've got a couple people asking about the rose on the wall. Now, that is a rose sconce, as it's called. Can you show us why it's called a sconce? Uh, it, oh, it's there got it an on and off state. And... um. So this is based off of the harvesting point, the pure light bloom flower oh, in the Mugmire Marsh. Yeah, it's got on and off states to make a really cool glow on the wall. That that's yeah, that's in the season pass. So oh, pretty. That is awesome. <laughs> Leave that on. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Yeah, I'm. I would yeah. want like a whole bunch of those. Honestly, I'll probably put them on the ceiling. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be fun. Oh, real fast, Tessa, we have a couple questions about uh, the dragon leaving the shop. So, um, yes, to let people know the dragon is leaving the shop soon, unfortunately. Um, the dragon mods are going with it as well. Um, but this just means that we're clearing a bit of room for more stuff to come into the shop. So, uh, we, you know, hope you look forward to that. And don't worry, forever is a very long time. I know if people want the dragon again in the future would be happy to bring it back around um but it's good to keep things fresh too to sort of spring is a good time of year for that right get rid of the old bring in the new so um the dragon mm -hmm. has been out for gosh since early access actually i believe so about eight months yeah. nine months now mm -hmm. yeah it's been so. quite a while so um yeah um we hope that answers your questions um the yeah the dragon will be leaving us sadly so get it before it's gone if you don't have it yet and uh, yeah, well, we're all excited to see what else is going to be entering the store again soon. So, all right, Tessa, why don't you show us around a little bit more? Yeah, uh, first I want to, since I'm in my room, I'm going to change the clothes. Oh, good thinking. Yeah, we have a couple other sets of uh, of clothing to go through. 
Yeah. We have I love a this hint. Set, I <laughs> I'm a fan. Or are we yes. doing the rising set next? Oh, yes, yeah. Um, we can do the rising one. That one's really cool. All right. Get through here. Uh oh. I think chat just caught wind of uh, was it the Mayo K cat? Yes. <laughs> I love that hat. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, I know. Uh, I know. Uh, Ferocity Feral on our our Discord will be very happy with that. I I like to roll my eyes at all the Mayo Kate <laughs> jokes personally, but um. Yeah, I, I I love to hate it, I guess, is the is the common theme with me and Mayo Cake. It amuses me. So I like it in a rise. If you want a weird <laughs> Yeah. A weird food combo in my family is dipping strawberries in sour cream and then um, brown sugar and eating it. What? And that is like one of the weirdest things I've seen. <laughs> my family definitely... loves that for some reason. That's definitely a unique combination. I will, I will yeah. give you that. <laughs> it sounds a lot worse than it tastes. <laughs> I mean, sour cream isn't too far away from just normal cream, and regular cream and strawberries is good, like whipped cream. That's, that's a nice combination. Yeah. It adds like tartness, like extra tartness, and then like it gets really sweet with the brown sugar. Yeah, well, yeah. to each their own. Uh, I love the flames. I could do this forever. I just love the trail of flames. <laughs> oh, I know. And that's another thing that I know players have been asking for is more cool particle effects on some of the art fit. So um, we hope that you enjoy this one. Um, Tessa, sorry, what was the name for this one again? This is the Rising set? Yeah, this is the Rising set. It's themed after the new Avatar coming out. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I guess so. Anyone want to see some dogs? <laughs> you know, that's a good segue. Do you have your dogs nearby? I know we got a couple of questions about your dogs because yes. of uh, your your picture. <laughs> Who is, is that? Yeah, this Roxy. She is my lap warmer. <laughs> Roxy is an eleven year old Yorkie. She's Aww. been with me since I was sixteen. Oh, so, girl, she's adorable. Yes. <laughs> she loves to give stinky kisses with her stinky breath. <laughs> and then got Merlin. Friend. Come here. He's like, I don't know what you're doing. Does he want to show what? up? Uh, maybe. We'll see. He's just staring at me from the couch. They never cooperate. See, mine just sleeps through the streams. <laughs> That's all. It's just a big potato. But then anytime I'm in a big meeting, he's right here in front of the camera. <laughs> Every time. Huh, he doesn't like that I poked him. It's time to wake up. Yes. No, no Merlin. We're not waking up. No. We're gonna stay there. Yeah, he's not, he's not so sure. No. I guess. He just got Roxy. Well, we might have to post pictures on our Discord later. I know other people have been asking for, for more Wild Works folks and their pets, so. Um. <laughs> Let me grab this real quick. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh yeah, I threw this thing at him, and he's been interested in it, but he's not. It's one of the toys. And like, it's like a cat. Like, come over here and look at this thing. Come here. <laughs> he's frozen with stage fright. Maybe he'll I know come something. Over later. Something weird's happening. I don't like it. All right. So how about we head into the next room then? This is the now. This is the big theme of the next season pass. Is that right? Yes. We finally, have a really cool oh, theme. Oh, wait. Right before I go in there, of course he comes over. Let of me course. grab him real quick. Here he is. This is filled anticipation. Puppy. There we go. Oh, this is my puppy, Merlin. That's a puppy. That's a really big puppy. <laughs> yes, oh, he's only a little over a year old. What do you think, Merlin? Aww. <laughs> and he's gone. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> really okay. This is it. So hang on. Let me let me change your layout too. It's a little hard to see the whole thing. It's oh my goodness. It is this is in freaking credible. Um so what we have here is the giant chest set. So tell us about this. You had a first hand in designing this, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so me and the other content designer were thinking about what would be cool and 
um, I love the Queen's Gambit, <laughs> if I can say that. Um, I loved it. And uh, I love chess in general. I remember playing it with my dad when I was a kid. And so we decided to make a chess set. So we got together with the story team and came up with what the pieces would be. So we have the queens as the queens, obviously. And then their scepters as the king piece. And the dogs are playing. Sorry. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> <mind for them. laughs> yes. <laughs> and then we have their their captains as their bishops. Of course. And we have these cute little twiggle knights on horses. I just love them. They're so cute. They're on stick horses, aren't they? Yeah. And then they've got these epic capes around them. Uh, the so much. Artists really had fun with these. And we've got the seraph as the rook. And then it, we've got these little guards as our um, as the pawns. Why are they called pages? Uh, um, yes. And so how I've designed them to come out in the past is that You'll get an enigma for each pawn piece, so you can make as many as you need or want. <laughs> and then we'll give out two of each serif piece and twiggle piece and captain piece, and then one queen and one king of each set throughout the whole pass. Awesome. This looks incredible. Oh, we're getting a flood of questions. So let me address some of these real fast. So uh, Lucid Zenith, um, so what creature are Hawk and Vivian based on? Oh, you know, I don't know if they're actually based on any particular creature. Um, oh. But in the chess set, they do act as the rook, I believe it is. Or bishops, I'm sorry. I always mix up the, the terms. So bishops, they're the ones that flank the king and the queen on either side. As any captain of the yeah. British show. Mm. Oh, this looks yeah, incredible. I think we'll probably be learning a bit more about those captains pretty soon, I think. But... Picking news? Uh, Why are people asking for picking news? Should there be news about pickings? I don't know if there's sure. any news about pickings. Little bird may have told me something. But that's between me and a bird. Same. Well, <laughs> maybe, um, I don't know, Tessa, do you want to get the, the bird out on camera? You can have the bird tell everyone? Yeah. Yes want to make an appearance. Who's that bird that told everyone. me about picking? So firsthand, I know a lot of you are guessing this one pretty early. So yes, um, it is a phoenix. Um, our next avatar, it's, I'm just blown away. It's, it's so hard to comment on this. Um, I got to see it for myself for the first time this morning in action. I'm still just in awe of how beautiful the animation is, the color palette of the design, not to mention the structure of it, everything, the way it moves. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is my favorite. <laughs> so fun. Oh, it's so great, the flex. Oh, I thought you had, um, what is, uh, what was the one you told me earlier, Tessa? The really, oh, the really exciting. This is my favorite one. There we go, the flex. Yes. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. It gives. It just reminds me of Fox, who is one of my favorite characters in Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, it just burns so down pretty. and rises again from the ashes. And what a great, great, you know, avatar for spring too. It's just again the sense of renewal, of uh, rebirth and growth and all that. Um, I know the Rising set, like you mentioned earlier, and you showed off, um, has the theme of you know the phoenix. It's got sort of the flame effects on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I can't wait to see how other people start to dye it as well. Um, so that's going to be really cool. Yeah. Do you want to see what I did to it? <laughs> what? I made oh, a picking. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Here's my picking. He's a snooty little guy. Of course, we had to make a picking. No, it's no secret. <laughs> I absolutely adore the pickings. Um, I, lo I love it every time I see a pickin' raid in game or on Discord. Um, so my, some of my best friends are Pickens. Uh, that looks incredible. Yes. You did a remarkable job designing that. That's that's fantastic. Right here. Let's, uh, oh, let's um, see what we, we have a couple of questions yes. about how the wings are going to work with this. Now, so the Phoenix is uh, a very special avatar in this regard in that it does come with wings. 
Um, so this is one of the, yeah. the, yeah, the rare avatars that, um, is a little exceptional in that regard. Um, I know at level 42, uh, you, I believe you still get a different pair of wings though. I don't know. Is that right, Tessa? Well, so I was actually part of the discussion on how we were going to address this. And we came to the conclusion that we want to, um, have the unhide wings in general in customization. So if you get this guy at level one, you can go and customize the wings. They will be there. And uh, all the other avatars at level one will have the wings option available, but they'll just have the no wings option until you level up and earn those wings. And these wings are technically those first reward for level 42 for this avatar and mm -hmm. so you, well you'll still get the wings on the other avatars at level 42 this one you're just kind of bypassing that so there i don't think there's going to be a new unlock at level 42 but there oh, will sure. be additional wings gotcha. well that's okay you still get it super early bit. if <laughs> you're not a fan of leveling and you still want a set of wings phoenix is the way to go yeah i'll still have some fun wings coming down the pipe for sure well, some people are still getting feedback. I'm so sorry, everyone. You know, I think what I'm going to have to do Could before be my stream... headset. <laughs> well, see, you have a headset. I, I also have a headset. I just, um, it's not that great. So that's why I tend not to use it. So it's probably me having an echo coming around. I just sort of need to, I need to improve that. So sorry, everyone. Um, I'll just try to keep my voice down and hopefully it won't echo too bad. Um... But yeah, oh, that looks so great, Tessa. You are incredible. Um, this is this is really something. Now I know. Yeah, uh, I've. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I just I've really loved designing the season pass. Um, this is the first time we've been able to give it a really theme and um, think about everything that's going to be coming out and I've I've placed a lot more things out in the world to go and find for the season pass so you'll be able to preview those things and go and find them as your task to get them and from the season pass um, do you want me to show that real quick Angela? yeah why don't you run through it so most exciting thing I'm going to show you guys is the tier 100 reward which we had a lot of talk about this, and I think this will be exciting. It is free. <laughs> if you make it to tier 100, you get a free chest item. And so this one is a chest that attaches to your shoulder on most avatars. And oh, that is cool. we also are doing for the first time exclusive dyes. These dyes um, in here are only going to be in here. They're not going to show up in the dye shop. Maybe Ooh. later they might come back around. They might be in some treasure chests. But for now, we're going to set you up with 20 of each of these. And they're tied to these chest set and also the whimsical set. We've got our, our mayo cake cat. I love this. <laughs> a slice cake. of... <laughs> yes. I'll read this one because it's funny. Oh, please do. <laughs> a slice of chef's... Chef... Queequee's most favorite cake poised on your head like a royal crown it deserves to be. And I s hope I didn't mess up that name, but I just love it. I, if it is Queequee, I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. But All right. I've well, got some fun stuff. Do you know who it was? Uh, do you know who has who, who designed that? Was that you? Mayo cake has been on our list since it got popular online um, to make, and it came down the pipe uh, since I. It's pretty recent that I became the like content designer, and so I saw that on the list, and I'm like, we need to do that. So I moved it up in priority, and we got moving on it. <laughs> well, you're terrible. Thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever try one in real life, but the thought of it, I think it's hilarious, especially because oh. one of my friends hates mayo, and I tease them about it all the time. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Because yes. I, I can imagine only if it's warm outside, too. Cool. <laughs> it's funny um so for everyone listening to just so you're aware i have pharaoh messaging me on the side right now with excitement about the hat love the hat thanks pharaoh I'm glad i'm glad you're watching i'm glad that you're really excited for the mayo cat you know i i really am though i really am i'm really happy that everyone else um 
I take so much joy in that too. I really do. I secretly do. Um, it cracks me up every time. So, oh, you know what? Um, no, we should. Um, we should start thinking about a giveaway soon. What do you think, Tessa? Did you have anything more yeah. that you wanted to to show off before actually before we move on to the giveaway? Um, I think that's about it. But yeah, be looking out for. There's a lot of hide and seek things I've put out there for the challenges this time, and they're going to be in pretty fun, I think. So yeah. let me know what you guys think of those. If if you hate them or love them, I'd love to know. Always yeah. up to changing this and making it more fun. Oh, yeah. You know, Tessa, it's lagging a little bit. Pause for a moment okay. in your movement. Let's see if it catches up. This is part of it's the fun of flying around with this. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the fun of the stage environment, too. I think it's just a little bit slower with the... Uh, so many people on testing right now too so um so everyone thanks for bearing with us i know it's a, a little choppy but um we'll, we'll work through it um all right I so <laughs> i think it's giveaway time um tessa do you did we tell you what we're giving away uh no we talked about some items but i'm not we sure did. what it is so um would excited. you do me a favor and uh oh the idle animation sorry i got distracted it's so cute. It does like this it is chirpy, so cute. chirpy little dance. It's absolutely adorable. Um, so if you could do me a favor and go back to the chess room. Oh yes. Let's go. So like Tessa mentioned, we have the uh, level one hundred reward. Um, and for the first time ever, it is free. It is this giant chessboard. It's not all of the pieces. I need to clarify. So oh, wait, 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 Angela. Sorry, it's the chessboard clothing item. Oh, we're giving away. <laughs> oh, the clothing item is the level one hundred. Oh, thank you so much for clarifying. Yes, this guy. I... Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry. All right. So I will oh, say so... though that the giant chess piece, this chess board, is pretty um, low in the tier levels. So it uh -huh. is going to be pretty quick to get that one. Oh, so. Okay. So it's quick to get that one so tell you what how about how about we let the chat decide do you want yeah. us to give away the uh the free giant chessboard that would go in your sanctuary um keeping in mind that it is it's lower on the season pass it's a little easier to get or do you want the chessboard item that you can wear uh, which is the tier 100 item um that is free so to clarify do you want the chessboard you can wear, the clothing, or do you want the furniture? So clothing or furniture? Oh my gosh, uh, it seems to overwhelmingly be the clothing item. So That's all right, awesome. okay. <laughs> yeah, clothing, clothing. There's a couple of people who want the sanctuary item. Um, rest assured that it is low on the season pass, so you will still have a pretty good chance at at getting that. But um, for yeah, getting to tier 100 takes quite a bit of work. So um yeah. <laughs> this will will save a lot of folks a lot of time um if you don't want to work your way up to the tier 100 we can give that away so um five lucky people from our twitch stream are going to win the chessboard that you can wear so if you're watching start commenting your name in game make sure you get the spelling right too so we can look you up correctly um and we will <laughs> will grant you the free uh the free chessboard um now most of these items um, are not available in the live version of the game yet. So we um, we can credit you today. There's still a chance that it won't display correctly. So fair warning on that. Um, so if there's any issues with that, they will be resolved by the time that the, the pass is fully live. Um, otherwise, yeah. Um, yeah, start, start commenting names. We got a whole bunch coming in through i see a couple of familiar names too especially folks who have already won so i apologize if you have won before then you are not you're not eligible to win again at least for the stream giveaways um but it is so cool seeing so many familiar names again too oh i see a couple pickens in our chat too hello pickin 110 given you guys and just because I'm saying your name doesn't mean you're a winner. I apologize. I'm just happy to see you. I'm saying hi. <laughs> so Tessa, uh, while folks are are getting the names together, we have one of our moderators um, that who is pulling names from the chat to to be our eligible winners. Um, why don't you go through the um, cool. the creature creator and 
and to learn a little bit more, see more of the, the Phoenix options. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're so pretty. I love them. Maybe gonna go back to my default colors though. Not that the picking colors aren't amazing, but I do love these ones. Let's see. Uh, this is probably my favorite head. It's like a little hummingbird. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. That one is, is so spastic. I love it. <laughs> yes, and I love the pose with this one. So sassy. So much sassy. one leg. It's very, like, <laughs> ugh. I love it. Yes. And this is the one I use for our picking on our default. So I think I'm going to make pull up this set because I just love it. <laughs> Some cool horns. These ones. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, me, these um, pointy little sorry, I realize my, legs. my face is actually kind of blocking that. Let me move that around in the, the creator for a second. There we go. <laughs> we got that's some so chunky great. legs. <laughs> I love the toothpick legs, so though. Oh, I like my that one. That one looks really well with this with this design. Yes. Oh, that's so pretty. I haven't seen all of these. I like that one. Here, I'm gonna get yeah, us some legs. a bit more too, so you can see the names. So, um, as you're selecting some of these, <laughs> too, can you can you read through the names of uh, of these? Oh yeah. So this is the wise head. Um, and I've got the jaunty feather as the ears. Since they don't really have ears, we put the plumes on their head as their ears. Oh, well, that's a clever way of doing it. Yeah, and we've got the marauder horns. I'm not sure if I said that correctly. I am terrible at pronunciation. <laughs> and we got our nocturne legs. And the velvet wings. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Pulls off the tongue. Oh, and the tail. What's the tail called? Uh, the vulture tail. That is very pointy. Oh, I like that. Can you pair that with the scavenger head? Oh, yeah. Let's try that out. Scavenger head. Oh. There we go. Oh, those pointy legs just make it so much more like. It's so great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Um. I have one more request of you. So, um, yeah. leave leave the creature creator for now. Mm -hmm. um, and instead of, um, oh, if we can exit the house too, so it's a little easier to see. So normal movement does look like this. This is just flying around. Now, if you hit control on your keyboard, it slows your walk. So if you do that, then your phoenix will just sort of strut. <laughs> so it's this cute like head bob. Oh like, yeah, he's got the like head. The, the cocky rooster, <laughs> like, hey, yeah, I'm mocking, I'm mocking. I love it. It's got so I'm much personality. Here. I think of the seagull TikTok. I'm not gonna sing the song, but it's what it <laughs> makes me think of. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. TikTok is its whole universe. Oh, it looks like um. So we have our winners chosen from the chat. Um, so fair warning, this was uh, folks that were chosen at random. Um, we have, oh, I don't know if I'm going to say some of these right, too. We have Faye Bellina, so F-A-E-B-E-L-I-N-A. -E -E uh, congratulations. Um, we have Solar Power. Oh, Solar Power, congratulations. One of our new server helpers um, was chosen. That's fantastic. So um, congratulations to them. Uh, we have uh, Grinu or Greenu, G-R-I-N-U. Uh, so you've won as well. Uh, La this is another one, I'm sorry. La Liriani. Actually, sounds elvish even. Very pretty. L-Y-R-E-A-N-N-I. Um, and then our final winner tonight is uh, Karma Men. Or Karmara. <laughs> I'm horrible with it tonight. <laughs> Oh, so K A R M A R A M E N, uh, Karmaraman. <laughs> Sorry, thank you so much. Um, congratulations again, everyone who won. Um, thank you so much, Tessa, for joining us today. This is 
Yeah. Our, our first stream, being able to show off some of the new content. Um, now, in the past, I know it's been a bit of a barrier because we, we really love um, streaming with everyone in the live environment of the game, running around and seeing everyone sort of crowding around as we run. Um, so this does limit us from doing that, um, unfortunately, but we are, it's absolutely worth it to be able to show off some of this cool new content. So um, we hope you all enjoy. <laughs> Take a good screenshot. Oh, yeah. Dancing. Oh, the cute little... <laughs> the cute little chirpy dance. I love it. Oh, I've just been informed that um, it could be <clears throat> Karma Ramen. So that's another pronunciation of our final winner. Oh. I like that a lot better. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Oh, now I want ramen. <laughs> um, yeah, I want ramen. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really good today. Oh, man, that is that is one gorgeous avatar. That is fantastic. Um, yeah, we, the art team did a really great job with this one. It's so pretty. Yeah. Oh, we have a bunch of requests. Um, uh, can we remove the wings? To see what that uh, looks like. No, unfortunately, oh, we, we we will not be. Yeah, we will not be removing limbs from this guy. <laughs> oh, okay. So not here. Um, but maybe at some point in the future, right, we guys. Can have more of like um, yeah. more like a dodo bird, or I mean, they all still have wings, but something a little shorter, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, there could definitely be a mod that comes out that's little baby wings. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Anyway, thank you so much, Tessa. Um, it's been amazing hanging out with yeah, thanks you. Thanks for having it's me. So cool seeing all the cool content. And thank you again to um, everyone else who is watching. And uh, make sure you all stay feral. We'll see you again next time. <laughs> Bye, all. <laughs>